everyone, I'm Sora from Dear Sora and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a very, very long time since I've posted. Actually, three years ago to be exact. My last video was the December favorites from 2016, which was so long ago. Oh my gosh, I hadn't realized how much time had passed and I've always wanted to create videos again. So as part of my New Year's resolution, I want to become more proactive with this channel. So my first video back, I'm going to do a January favorites and without further ado, let's get started. Recently, I have been regularly getting my nails done and one of the cons to having longer nails is that it's really difficult to scrub and clean your hair. Um, so one of the things that I have bought to help me with that is this silicone scrubber brush and it basically massages the shampoo in, and your scalp to make it very clean. The bristles are hollow little cone shapes and they're not sharp at all. They bend to any pressure you apply to it and they're just really gentle on your scalp. But they also help really deep clean your skin. So there are many benefits to this and one of them is that it massages and deep cleans your scalp. I have noticed a lot less hair falling out and it keeps my nails out of my hair like I mentioned. One thing that I have noticed is that like um, as I'm getting my nails done more and more, my nails are getting a little bit weaker. So it just helps keep my nails out of my hair. Um, another hair product is this um, wet hair brush and it's basically a game changer for brushing your hair. I have really fine, um, naturally really fine hair and Oh, excuse me. One of the things that really bothered me was my hair would get tangled really, really easily and no matter how much I brushed it, it would just get tangled again. And brushing was always an extremely painful experience for me. Basically, this brush is a brush with way more flexible bristles that just glide through your tangles. The reason why this works so well is because um, I personally brush my hair right after the shower before I dry it and your hair is the weakest when it's wet because it can snap if you yank on it. The reason why I like this brush so much is because it makes it so much easier to detangle your hair. Um, it's a lot easier to use. It just glides through your hair like as if you have like butter or lotion or something in your hair. It just glides through it. There's no yanking or, or tugging at all. I used to spend like 10 to 15 minutes just brushing my hair, but now I spend less than a minute, like literally less than a minute. And there's no more pain, no more tangling, no more yanking. I There's just so many good things about this product. January has been a very, very, very cold month for me. I know I live in California and to the rest of the world, this is nothing compared to what they're experiencing. But someone who has lived here for a long time and who is used to this climate, it has been pretty cold for me and um, one thing that I have noticed is that when it's cold people don't really realize that your skin can get really dry in the summertime in the summer heat it's kind of makes sense that your skin will dry out so people prepare and you know use moisturizer they drink more water they do all, all these things to make sure their skin and their body doesn't dry out but in the winter when it's cold I think a lot of people don't notice or realize that your skin and even your body is just drying out so it's good to stay hydrated and two products that I have been using is the Pink Juice Watermelon Moisturizer by Glow Recipe and this hand lotion from L'Occitane. So the Watermelon Moisturizer by Glow Recipe is um, a lightweight moisturizer ideal for my oily skin. Instead of a thick cream sitting on top of my skin, this gel-like consistency is very runny and it just sinks into my skin to give me radiance and glow. Um, it contains vitamin-rich watermelon extract, hydrating hyaluronic acid, and soothing botanicals to calm irritation while antioxidants fight free radical damage that can cause fine lines and wrinkles and dark spots. And this L'Occitane hand cream is something that I have been reaching for for my dry hands and also it's been really good on my cuticles as well. Also, I've noticed that during the dry seasons, my knuckles tend to get very dry. So for my knuckles and also my cuticles, I've been using this hand cream religiously. It is a 30 milliliter tube, which is a perfect size to just slip into your purse or take with you when traveling. They also offer a very larger size of 150 milliliters. And I actually gave it to my mom as a gift because she also has the same problems as me with dry knuckles and dry hands. So a book that I have been really enjoying this month is actually a trilogy. It is the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy by Jenny Han. This is such a fun and cute book. It's been made into a very popular Netflix film and I've been hearing rumors about the second um, movie coming out and I absolutely just love and enjoy 
adore this um, story and the characters. Um, I especially love it because the main character is a half Korean, half white girl. And I'm half Korean, half white! It's not every day that you find a character that is very similar to you. And it was um, a very pleasant to surprise to find out that the main character, um, Laura Jean, is half Korean and half white. And a lot of the details, the minor details in the book about um, like the food that they eat and like the kind of lifestyle that she had is very similar to me so I couldn't help but be gravitated towards this book. So I actually saw the film way before I read the books and I absolutely adored the, adored the movie. It was such a cute film. It's definitely a chick flick and it's, um, it's a high school romance type movie so I know that this is not everyone's cup of tea but I honestly really enjoyed it and I, <laughs> I got my um, best friend Mary to watch it with me and I forced my boyfriend, <laughs> my boyfriend to watch it with me and it was, um, it was very interesting. <laughs> but definitely it was a very cute story. Uh, I'm currently on the third book right now and I have to say the second book I finished so fast. It was so entertaining. I think um, because of time wise in total I think it took me about a month to read but that was because um, the first half of the book took me a long time to read. I think I was like just reading bits and pieces of it and then one night I just couldn't sleep so I picked the book up and then I just finished the rest of the book like that in one night. I highly recommend it to those of you who want an easy read, um, a cute little love story. It's been a fun read. To finish off the favorites video, I have something that's quite um, random, <laughs> but it's the Michelin uh, windshield wipers and this is both a favorite and a PSA announcement. Every six months to a year, you need to be changing your windshield wipers and I personally had no idea. Um, so I have, since my I bought my car, I had the same windshield wipers and they got super, super worn out, very dirty, and they were doing the opposite of what I had wanted them to do. You, you know, windshield wipers are supposed to clear your window of debris and water, but it was making it worse than what was already on it. So, um, yeah, and I had no idea that the sun can actually also wear down your windshield wipers. So if you live in a very sunny area and you don't really use it a lot, you should still change it pretty often because the sun can wear your windshield wipers down. And I had no idea. So I thought I would share that kind of information with you guys. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.